Hi, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I use ProQ3 to find problematic frequencies on my vocal. Without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. So consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So I know a number of us have had this issue before where you're trying to find the problematic frequency in your vocal using your EQ but you can't seem to find it. I'm going to show you a feature that I use and that can help you identify these problematic frequencies on your vocal let me just go to my lead vocal group channel and I'm going to change this EQ right here and just reset it to default so I'm going to use this EQ here to show you how you can identify some problematic frequencies just make sure that down here under analyze you set this to post so that it translates to what you're actually listening to just play your vocal and then you'll see the spectrum here so what you need to do is simply click and hold on your mouse until the spectrum turns blue so let me just show you this say play for dinner i probably think we're born forever but we've never met forever thinking aloud my heart bleed it rang this so once it identifies these points, you'll be able to drag them and reduce them. Give my name and your marvel. They be thinking that we mad We be singing Eminado, Eminado. Alright, so you can see that I have these points here. Usually the points are a lot. This vocal seems to be okay. So I'll reduce this. When I do the reduction, it automatically makes the bell shape that is needed to get rid of that sound. I don't need to think about how much I need to reduce this. So all I need to do is just push this all the way to the line. If you look at the line here. So I usually just push this up to the line. I'll come here and also push this up to the line. So look at the reduction. It automatically figures out how much of it should be cut out. So I'll come here and do that. And just click and hold and then just let go. So this is what we've done. So let's just listen to the vocal now. Give my name and your marvel. They be thinking that we mad oh. We be singing Eminado, Eminado. Let's listen to the individual frequencies so that we know what we actually cut out. So we'll start with this one here. So let's go and listen to this other one. So guys, basically this is how you use the Pro Q3 to find the problematic frequencies on your vocal. And it really works. So you guys can try it out. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at JTheMG. Let's interact there. See you in my next video. Peace.